Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's topic is going to be light codes for anxiety and I'm going to probably incorporate some ideas surrounding authenticity, how to be your authentic self, self and claim your authority when you need it the most energetically we're speaking about here this authority that you claim is part of this central channel of energy that is your power is your primordial essence your life force energy and when that's balanced and whole then we be our authentic self and if there's tears or gaps in our aura in our auric field within our energetic bodies then it's something we need to become more conscious of because to be who you truly are authentically you're to balance out these energy bodies and claim that authority from within you so it's definitely an internal job internal uh, map that we're speaking of when, when I'm talking about authenticity and authority I'll get into that a little bit later I think with some light codes that want to flow through because this is going to be also a healing session so there's some downloads that want to come through, some information that could be useful to you, as well as this session can be used with relaxation in mind, meditation in mind, upgrading your consciousness, and just anything that you intend it for, really. And then towards the end of the video, I may pull an activation card and see what we are working on as a collective and this will help us to ground the energy, bring in all the energy that we've collected as a part of this video together all those who watch it in the past, in the present, right here and now and all those who are going to watch this video there will be a type of energetic bubble we can all tap into that's collecting these energies together and making it useful for us to have similar archetypes to activate within us so we're going to start off with the idea that anxiety is something that helps us to come into our authenticity something that helps us to align with our authenticity and I know we've all had different experiences with anxiety and so please bear with me when I talk about it because however you may be feeling about anxiety right now in this moment is perfectly valid but today I'm gonna try and change your perspective a little bit try and help you to claim this anxiety that we all have in a certain times in our life Kukulanda e sarakana perusu ande e rakana verusu lakande layanga ura se lu ura se ya rakayo shulu makana hesala talo sulu palesina rusu rusana yana. So to translate, 
as well as I possibly can. This is the practice for me, is translating these light codes that come through. I already had the download come through about a week ago or maybe less. Time is interesting at the moment. But the light code you just received is to help you to see anxiety as a very humble friend is to help you to recognize that all of the trials and tribulations that come along in your life, the traumas that you've been through, the um, deep pangs of anxiety, fear, sadness, depression, all those things that are linked kind of with anxiety. I mean, all emotions are linked in some way, but with this word specifically, it didn't used to exist when I was a kid. And now that it does, I think a lot of us identify with it and we see it as something bad and difficult. And that's because it feels that way inside the body, especially when you don't know what to do with it. One of the light codes that's coming with this anxiety, though, is that... There is a way for you to transform this anxious energy into your superpower, into the thing that you really want to become. Usually when we're going through an emotion or a thought that's repetitive, we, we usually have this scenario play out where we'll think of all the times that we ever felt this way. It's just a, a natural kind of habit that the mind has. It wants to gather all of the information from all of the previous programs that we've experienced in our life. And so sometimes that can make the anxiety feel like you're, the, the, the trauma that you've experienced and the anxiety that went along with that that's here in the present moment for you, whenever it may show up. Maya solo kolo sona yasa lokana veyana me yase no tuna la yase lo maya kana yaso pero sana ya kana rote maya sa There's a reason why it's there so you don't have to start worrying about why this anxiety is still there or why it's there in the first place it's not about time it's not about trying to figure out exactly why it's here although there may be an answer to that instead it's about recognizing how you can transform it into your superpower you can claim this anxiety and have it become part of your authority Something about anxiety that I think often gets missed is that it actually keeps you quite humble because you're not about to jump into any one specific situation when you're feeling a little bit fearful and so it keeps you a little bit more on the edge of safety. However, it's such a huge topic that I know many of us have this feeling towards it that's just the type of emotion, the type of thing that's blocked us for a long time. I know some of you have that. I do. I have this feeling that it's stopped me from reaching my goals sometimes, that it's hindered me in some way, shape or form. But the thing you have to remember is that everything that's meant for you will come to you in all divine timing. And there may just be a lesson that you have to learn with anxiety now. One of the things that wants to come through about it for you. Sesama yelotu kalasena mehiusu mahiasa leotu mahiasa kairose. Not only has it kept you safe in certain situations, even though you may think you've looked foolish or been humiliated in some way shape or form because you were the only one that was maybe experiencing this in any one given environment you probably weren't the only one first off 
the second of all. There was probably a lifetime that you've had or some moment in your past where you you had a lot of power in you and you had the ability to influence other people and in order to influence people in a righteous integral way you had to go through the training that anxiety has presented to you there's a type of safety mechanism that's linked with it a type of humble friend as I was saying that it's trying to be to us it's trying to get us to really look at the matter and say what is it that I need to claim here what's mine and what do I need to not worry about So, when you're feeling anxious, I want you to think about how you can claim this anxiety. No longer are you pushing it away and you're not accepting it as who you really are either. It's just a friend. It's not something that is meant to stay with you forever but it's a friend that's here for now that's teaching you something and this lesson is kakanasa yetu is part of your your journey is part of your story it's part of us that can be transformed into more energy, more joy, more peace, more truth, more knowledge, more wisdom. It's just kind of waiting to be accessed, acknowledged, aligned with. So I'm feeling like sacred geometry activation would be good for us in this moment where I talked about some of the key elements to work with authenticity alignment with this anxiety really really just claiming it owning it if it's coming about naturally be natural with it allow it to flow accept it for all that it is and just allow it to be going to find that it's actually something you can use to help you to progress when you do that. So I just want you to focus on these cards for a moment. This is the sacred activation deck. It's going to send whilst your Focusing your intention on these cards of an answer you'd like to receive regarding your anxiety. I'm just going to send some healing rainbow light. It's going to clear these cards. Make sure that they're going to be beneficial for us in giving a message. Just cleansing them with some light codes. Whilst you focus your intention. La na na sero ayala yun ayalu se na ya kande wanaya lutu ruende ya se la bote ruma. So if we were to fully know on a deep level that any of the traumas that have led up to any kind of anxiety that we face on a weekly or daily basis 
if we were to know that this energy is huge and it has the potential to get you to your dreams, your goals. It's just that it might be being used in a more negative aspect within your being without you knowing. So for example, you may be trying to push it away every single time it comes up. You might even use substances to get rid of it. You might use distractions to um, placate your mind so that you're not thinking about this anxiety. But instead, if you were to think about it as being something that is actually part of your liberation, you start to alchemically transform it into something that the body, the mind, the emotions no longer rejects, but actually acknowledges and starts to do the alchemical process, starts to perform this type of transformation with this energy, that can allow it to become something that we didn't even know we had before, a type of superpower that is just maybe a deeper sense of empathy, is just a deeper sense of love, is a deeper sense of humility, more presence, more authenticity, it can be used in this way to help us. So let's take a look at the card we got. Passion. So clearly this is telling us that anxiety can be a big part of both our passion and the thing that we don't want to do in our lives anymore so it's a mirror reflecting both avenues of both the thing that we wish to do and the thing that we don't want to do and anxiety is your barometer that you have to sit with and decide what part of this thing you're about to do is part of your passion or isn't if it's something that isn't part of your passion that you're having this anxiety for, then you might want to look at changing it, dropping it, maybe even having some kind of um, other way to look at it. Maybe it's you know something that you have to do, you don't want to do, but you have to do. Well, in that case, you might not be able to drop it, but you may be able to see it from a different point of view. So just working with that alchemically. However, if it's your passion, if it's your purpose that you're feeling anxiety about. I know Miriam Williamson says this extraordinary quote and it goes something like this. It's not our darkness we're afraid of, it's our brightness, it's our excellence that we're afraid of. And um, that wasn't word for word. But the, this excellence is the thing that probably is going to bring more energy to us, is probably going to bring more capability of working with consciousness, with, with other people, with ourselves, and so it can feel a bit daunting. But if that's your passion that you're feeling anxiety with, then this is prime gold. This is, this is just waiting to be turned from from metal into gold because you can use this anxiety as an anchor point as a type of oh okay so I'm feeling this way because this is something that is going to be huge for me to overcome in healing this part in going ahead and following my passion no matter what I'm going to heal a huge part of me that is going to lead to much more growth and potentially really making a big change energetically on this planet for humanity in general. So I'll read what it says. Number 34, passion. The frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight. Nahiyase. Balance. 
כולם and calm. Just take a breath into that calm. Really feel it in this moment. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity. Moving us from chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let its long lasting wisdom fill us up. <laughs> That's really perfect for helping to round up what I was saying. Let's read it one more time and bring through the light codes that go with it. The frequency. Yes, Of passion. Kelana seyana. Belundu payasana. Reminds us that beneath every intense emotion, Yanama ebule sanaya kaname shulu, Tanaya sela kanda elu kusunama ya teru sunama. Yano, vesanana kero. Lies the hidden gem of insight. Let so balance Kunama Yesana Yoloto Kunama Yesaloto and calm. Breathe in that calm, letting go of that stress. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity. Moving us from chaos to the calm of its core. Pupula. where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. Thanks for watching.